Hello everybody, back here with another video again today, and then I just wanted to kind of go more in depth with the fact that, that article might be real. I have some people discussing to me that, um, apparently this whole, uh, this whole thing is, there's a good chance it's real. Apparently there was a interview with, uh, Millie Bobby Brown on a radio station recently where she talked about how she's getting ready to go back and do more reshoots for the film and stuff. And I mean, to be fair, with the film being delayed, I would say reshoots were kind of expected. But are these major reshoots actually here because of the bad test screenings and stuff? That part's hard to say. That article could be completely fake or not. But are the test screenings, you know, like it's pretty obvious, I would say, the way that they're going. There's a reason it got delayed. They're plan. They're probably planning on either changing something major, or they need more time to finish up the movie. With how long they delayed it, it's more than likely because their intent is to change, like, do some big changes and reshoot. Especially Millie Bobby Brown recently came out and said that she was doing it again. I haven't heard it myself. If you guys know it or where the link is to it, please send it to me so I can. Uh, get more information on it and stuff, but we're just gonna go off the fact that it, it will just say that there is major reshoots coming out in January. Is this that big of a deal? Well, here's the thing nowadays, reshoots have been considered quite a bad thing uh, for most movies um, because we have films such as Suicide Squad, uh, Fantastic Four, um, movies like that that all got reshoots, you know. Uh, Batman, or not Batman, well, yeah, the Justice League got heavy reshoots, and we know how people felt about that, but it's just reshoots nowadays when you hear a company reshoots, that just, it kind of becomes a problem, people kind of become frightened, are they really that big of a deal, though? <laughs> oh my god, are they really that big of a deal, though, um, I don't think it's really that big of a deal, if anything, it's a good thing. Uh, if they're willing to delay the film so long just to make sure they deliver an A-plus movie. Uh, there are examples of films, you know, that have had major reshoots and stuff that, you know, it, they turned out great. Back to the Future, you know, that was a, uh, that, w that movie had some heavy reshoots uh, back in the day. Uh, Man the original Men in Black, you know. Um, if you count animated movies, stuff like Finding Nemo and Shrek. And, uh, more recently, the, uh, 2014 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, that film had some, uh, k pretty big reshoots whenever, uh, they changed, uh, Shredder from the business guy. And, you know, whatever you like that film or not, that was probably a, a pretty good change. Because that would probably cause some outrage. Um, Rogue One also had some reshoots, and that film's probably the best one so far that's came out of the, uh, new Disney films great movie you know it makes it thing it makes Darth Vader great you know I think the ending's really well Gareth Edwards of course he's an amazing director um so it, are these reshoots really that big of a deal well the problem is, is that unlike a lot of films I named this has to do with Warner Brothers versus a lot of other companies and the problem with Warner Brothers is they get panicky really easy. We've seen that very clear. And their track record with reshoots versus other companies who've done reshoots and, reshoots and they actually turned out really well isn't the best. Um, like I said, uh, Suicide Squad and Justice League, that's their property. They also had some pretty big reshoots. But... That doesn't necessarily mean these will be bad. Plus, I'm pretty sure every film kind of has some big reshoots. I do remember King of the Monsters, I believe, having some big reshoots at one point. Which, you know, whatever you want to say about that film. You know, uh, I think, obviously, Kong in 2014 also had reshoots. Because uh, reshoots are normal. They usually do the main shooting, and then they schedule some dates and they get some more footage or they want to change some stuff they realize that won't work you know that's normal now major reshoots aren't the same thing though um I don't know how big the other monstrous ones are 
But if this is true that we're getting major reshoots, is it really that big of a deal? To me, if it's over bad test screenings and they genuinely got bad criticism or reviews and basically they wrote it down, you know, they got everything that people criticized about and that's what they're doing major reshoots to fix them, you know, I'm all game for that, you know, I actually think that's not a bad thing if they're actually going to like listen to people and if people almost a year in advance are saying, hey, you need to fix this and they're going to go and fix it. That's a great thing. Now, it also depends what kind of people were there. You know, if there was a lot of monster action, it could be people, like, saying, not enough monster action, or there's too much monster action, they could be removing some monster fights. If there's, like, uh, too little monster action to the people, they could say, hey, we need more. You know, they could be going in, doing heavy. That's why they delayed it so long, because they're going to do heavy, more, add more CGI, more monster battles. Hey, we didn't like this concept. Hey, you know, so let's say something like Mechagodzilla's in the film. Be like, hey, that was stupid. You know, either they completely change him or remove him from the film. You know, there's all sorts of stuff. Now, with a six months delay, I don't know how crazy they could really get with it. Um, I would assume if there was really bad criticism and uh, feedback on the screening, it was probably like the human characters, and that's probably what they're going to try to fix. As we know from past Monster films, a lot of the characters in these films aren't the greatest. Um, in my opinion, I think as to watch, Skull Islands are the best to watch. They're really enjoyable to watch. They're fun characters. I think Ford Brody and Brian Cranston and the Brodies are probably some of the best written in the MonsterVerse. And then we know King of the Monsters characters were kind of crappy. So, you know, and then plus we got like Michael and them. And, you know, I have heard a lot of people, too, say how they believe Adam Wingard is a horrible director and that he's going to ruin this film. Look, I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of his works. Um, you know, he, uh, I know he made the Blair Witch remake, or se sequel thing that people didn't like. Death Note, you know. Uh, he made Your Next, which, as far as I know, is a really, people consider a really good movie. He's had shorts, you know, stuff like that. I mean people, you know, it's their cup of tea, just, uh, personally, I gotta understand, you know, we all understand, we gotta all understand, you know, just like Trump's impeachment, there's way more it goes into it, so, you know, there's a team of writers, he's not working alone, he's gotta follow the executive's orders, this is a really big budget movie, big company, all that, he doesn't have full control over it, although he has a pretty heavy control, a lot of times companies like Warner Bros. and stuff, usually, you know, they kind of have control over the people, or the director, like, they have, like, the most control over the movie, if there's some, you know, they end up making the final cuts, determining if something needs changed, and then he has a team of writers, storyboarders, who have been working on this film for years now, who've came up with the plots, he's been working with them, you know, we got Eric uh, Pearson, Max Bornstein, Zach Shields, you know, Michael, all them, you know, they're writing, they're the, writing the movie, and doing the screenplay. So, again, if the film's bad, we wouldn't necessarily say anything, necessarily blame it on him. There's a whole team that goes into making movies. It's not just the director. Um, having said that, I know that was kind of off topic, but I know. I, yeah, that was pretty off topic. But, yeah, so to uh, wrap up this video, if these major uh, reshoots are happening, um, is it that bad, big of a deal? Again, in my opinion, though, it's probably for the best, especially if it was for negative feedback. Now, if there, the test screens weren't real and they were doing it just to do it, I, I don't know. Maybe they looked at feedback from King of the Monsters or something. They're going to try to fix uh, a lot of the issues that people have with King of the Monsters, which I think would be nice. Um, I would assume that... Uh, you know, they have talked about how they want to make this an A-plus movie. They want to make it, like, the greatest film of all time, pretty much. Uh, so, and, you know, and you're not going to be able to make everyone happy, too. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, I'm sure we'll get more information on it at some point. You know, if the if the reshoots do happen in January, for sure, I'm sure we'll see it. I'm sure there will be images or something that come out about it. I know past movies, when they have major reshoots it always gets out that there's major reshoots going on 
Now, just because one article posted about it that isn't the most reliable to me, doesn't mean anything, you know. Whether or not the film got bad criticism or not, who knows. You know, we have to wait and see. Do you guys think major reshoots would be a good thing, though? Especially if there was bad criticism. Do you guys think it might enhance the movie stuff, depending on what the criticism was? Uh, what's your guys' thoughts on this? What would you guys like to see in the movie? Uh, what's your guys' hope for the movie? Please let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. And as always, peace. Bye-bye.